Her dad knew how to buy land. We had a choice. We could either sell land or make land work. Well, I tell yeah. it you don't tell it. Nelson likes to tell that story. In about uh, 1914, Looney and Granddaddy met on the beach. Mom was sitting, Mom, as I referred to Miriam as mother, sitting on a porch in Myrtle Beach. And there were some young men out there swimming. And one of them was in trouble, drowning. Granddaddy was saying, help, help in the ocean. And mom swam out there and pulled him ashore, met him, courted him, married him. That was her daddy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kaki, and I'm one of the Jackson daughters. My grandmother's name is Mary Cornelia Dusenberry Platt. She was raised at Bucksport over near Bucksport, uh, near Port Harrelson. Port Harrelson is about 10 miles from Conway. But she was a remarkable person. And, and my dad, he went to the pharmacy school down in Charleston. They called him Dr. Vivian Francis Platt. He basically compounded medicine at Platt's Pharmacy in Conway. Mom and Dad, Mary and his mother and Dad, were charming people, wonderful people, and loved mankind. They built the house that I grew up in on the year that I was born. Conway was a wonderful town to grow up in because uh, I had a nice little tree out in the yard that I liked to climb. And um, we had chickens and, and dogs and, and lots of pets. My brother went to Walford and uh, that was up in Spartanburg and he said, now you've got to go to Converse. So I aspired to go to Converse. My roommate was majoring in music too, and she helped pull me through college. I don't know how I lived through that, but anyway, I think I ended up with laryngitis. My dad got interested in uh, buying property down here on the coast. This was a tree plantation. My grandparents bought the land as they could. The initial land he bought was North Litchfield. And then he sold that property and exchanged it for the oceanfront property here at, at Ocean Lakes. Mrs. Jackson was just, she was the historian of the family. Getting to share the history of Horry County and writing about it and she loved that. She was very, very smart. She was always so put together. I was amazed. I did like to sing. Oh, mom was an amazing singer. She had a beautiful voice. I loved her singing in church. She was an angel. Mom had a lot of talent. She could do anything. She had multiple opportunities to sing professionally, but I think she had something else on her mind. And then I met Nelson my uh, senior year. I couldn't help but notice how Mary Emily adored Nelson. Have you heard that story? <laughs>